Good morning, everybody, and welcome to English this week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going to focus on Jack and the Beanstalk and being able to retell the story using some story language. We're also going to look at books on Thursday because it is World Book Day. But let's get thinking about Jack and the Beanstalk. So what happened at the beginning of the story? How does it start? What does Jack's mum ask him to do? Now then, we all know that some traditional tales they start off with once upon a time, don't they? Can you start your opening sentence off with once upon a time? How would you finish it? Let's have a think. Well, who was there? There was a boy. What was his name? He was called Jack, wasn't he? So you could say once upon a time there was a boy or there was a little boy called Jack. Let's see what I put. Oh, does yours look like mine? Look, once upon a time there was a poor little boy called Jack. Can you see that I've used poor little? Because if they were, we know that they were poor, don't they? See that my sentence has got a capital letter. And a full stop at the end. It's also got a capital letter for Jack, hasn't it? Because that's the name of a person. Let's go on then. Look at my next sentence. He lived in a... Hmm, what kind of cottage did he live in? Can you extend it further? I wonder who did he live with and where did he live? Have a little think. Have a little think about how you're going to describe the cottage. And who did he live with? And um, Yeah, he lived with his mother, didn't he? And where did they live? It was in the woods. So look at my, oh, look. He lived in a tiny pokey cottage with his beloved mother in the middle of a huge, scary forest. Did you use any of my descriptive words? That sentence is better, isn't it, than just put he lived in a cottage? Now then. Look at my short, simple sentence. Can you think of a conjunction that coordinating ones and or so, but then we've got the subordinating one because to it said they were very poor. Hmm. Might use because they were very poor because, yeah, they didn't have any money, did they? Oh. They were very poor because they had no money. They were they were very poor. So, oh, you so look. They had to sell all of their possessions to make a living for food, didn't they? P their possessions, can you remember? That's belongings. So the more vocabulary you know, the more voca wider vocabulary you can use. Now then, what did Jack's mother tell him to do? <gasps> Can you remember we've done this apost possessive apostrophes? Yeah. If you look at my scent, whose mother is it? Yes, it's Jack's mother. So the apostrophe goes before the S. So Jack's mother, what did she tell him to do? Yeah, he had to go and sell that cow, didn't he? She told him to go and take the cow to town and sell it for some mother. You can see that I've used Jack's, I've used, I've put the apostrophe S, haven't I? Who did Jack meet on the way? How would you describe this man that, that he met on the way? Yeah, it was a bit odd, wasn't he? Maybe a bit old, a bit strange. He met, oh, now then I've used, look, on his way to town, Jack met a strange old man who had some magic beans to sell. What did Jack ask the strange man? Can you think of a question that Jack would ask? This is my question, look. Can I please buy some of your magic beans? Do you think he would? Or how can you? What question can you use? Then how does the man reply? Is he able to have some? He's trying to tell him, look, he says, the beans will bring you lots of good fortune. That's like another word of saying lots of good luck is asking, isn't he? 
Now then, this is my extended sentence. Look, I've even ended with an exclamation phrase. Look, and I've used a conjunction. Look, the beans will bring you lots of good fortune because they are magic and will make you lots of money. And he's put, trust me. In the end, what did Jack do? Did you get some magic beans? Can you use a conjunction to extend this sentence up? Jack was a little unsure. He wasn't quite certain, was he? He was a little unsure. But, look at mine, look. Now, but in the end, what did he do? But in the end, he swapped the cow for the fine looking magic beans. Didn't he? Okay. Now then, I wonder how your story will look. If you do your story, I would love you to send them to me, okay?